I'm very happy to talk about uh, an issue which is uh, very, very, uh, matters very much to my heart. Uh, it's about sexual abuse and uh, abuse of power of uh, young people who are in sports and also in performing arts and in all, all uh, institutions. So to start, uh, how it came that I'm talking about uh, these uh, bad things, I have to tell a little bit of myself. Uh, I used to be a very small kid, raised in a ski school, in a ski area. My parents uh, had a quite big ski school, so I can't remember uh, how I learned to ski. It was always natural for me, and uh, later on I started uh, ski racing when I was around six, seven years old uh, and became a World Cup ski racer when I was 15. I won the Austrian championships in downhill when I was 16. I'm still the youngest one, and I performed in the downhill of the Innsbruck Olympics, which was my, the town where I was born. Uh, in 1976 and finished fourth. I was 17 then. Uh, just before that, uh, after I won the Austrian Championships, uh, two team colleagues uh, gave me some champagne. Uh, one of them raped me. So this is uh, the story I, I, nobody told except my, my best friend in the ski team. Uh, we both didn't uh, know what, what to do, because it's like a family. Uh, you travel together, uh, you sleep in the same house. Uh, it's, it's like a big skiing family, like uh, some of functionists often say. Uh, so I, I never told anybody uh, about this and, and uh, started competing and uh, I put all my, my power and my forces uh, into my uh, performance and my training. Uh, then after a while, I really had uh, troubles with the uh, Ski Federation. Uh, I was uh, studying physical education and I would like uh, have my training uh, after my opinion. And uh, I quit very early uh, when I was uh, 21. Uh, and started to be a ski instructor. I also had to, to fight hard because uh, in Austria you have to have the uh, winter uh, exam, winter uh, education for, for mountain guides uh, to run a ski school. And this was in 1981. Uh, it wasn't allowed for women. So this was my next fight. Uh, I put that through and uh, I got this exam and then I opened my ski school and then happened a lot, I got children. Uh, I was working in, in different professions, uh, different fields and in 2017, long after I had a very nice therapist to talk about my rape and, and other uh, things which happened to me in the ski team also, uh, in 2017, uh, there was, it was in May, a very small note about a volleyball coach uh, who sexually abused more than 50, almost 60 little girls, which were younger than 14 years old. And nobody was talking about that. I have a good relation to some, to some uh, reporters, journalists, and the press. And I found a very good friend uh, who is writing for the Austrian Standard. Uh, he's he's uh, in, in the sports uh, department. And I said, uh, we have to do something. Uh, if I talk about what happened to me uh, in skiing, probably uh, issue that this happens in sports, in, in any sports, probably will, will come uh, to awareness uh, in, in, in the society, in the press. Uh, probably this is uh, very, very helpful 
to set next steps, uh, go into prevention, and uh, to, to lift this uh, taboo from, from this issue, what happens in, in churches, what happens in schools. And so I started uh, to, to talk about many bad things that, which happened in the skiing field, in uh, boarding schools where young people get trained. And this was uh, a really impact uh, in the press then. Uh, of course, we didn't bring it in June. Uh, we waited until there was snow on the mountains. And one month before, I did this in, in November 2017. Uh, one month before, uh, there was this big, big uh, Weinstein thing and the Me Too uh, hashtag uh, appeared everywhere. So this helped a lot. Uh, I'm here not to talk about my, my story at all, uh, but this was uh, how, how it began. And then we set up uh, an institute uh, for people who were raped, who uh, were victims of sexism. Uh, it, it went very, very well. Uh, many people, many adult people, of course, who, who were mistreated when they were very young and kids, uh, they also started to talk. Uh, it, it went and went and went. Uh, awareness is always on, on prevention, but also on, on case management. Uh, and that people who don't know where, where to go, like I felt when I was young, uh, find someone to talk about. Uh, we carried on in, in a small circle of, uh, of people in Austria, and uh, finally uh, we really realized that uh, this, uh, this uh, place, this safe place where people can, can talk, uh, was now, is now uh, a, a law in parliament, and uh, we have this uh, since 2022 in September. The main focus on all is uh, on prevention. And uh, we really have to empower young people for self-empowering, that they know uh, where, the, where the borders are, that they can say no. It's very important uh, for me as a, a grandma of, of uh, two small kids uh, that we, adults, don't force our, our kids uh, uh, with, with kisses or uh, disrespect their, their borders. They should learn it very early. If they say, no, I don't like to sit on, on the legs of my aunt, or I, I don't like uh, to have my uncle uh, grabbing my, my cheeks, they should be respected and know that. And also, it's very important uh, that parents really, really should uh, bring their kids only to uh, sports clubs or ballet schools uh, and ask, what are you doing? What are your compliance uh, rules? Uh, are you, are you uh, firm with that? And uh, are you educated? Uh, is someone supervising you? And uh, is there a, a, a place where my kid can be safe? Because I really love skiing. I still love it. Uh, I don't like to keep uh, children from sports or perform performing arts. I really would like to have them in a safe place that they can do whatever they really like and feel well and safe and good. Thank you.